It's been a year since Caroline Flack tragically died. And her publicist, Nathan Charles Smith, led the tributes to his best friend along with singer Rita Ora, 30, and presenters Laura Whitmore, 35, and Laura Jackson, 34, on Nathan shared a video of her behind the scenes on a shoot as he looked back on a lovely Met TV presenter Laura Whitmore shared a lovely picture of herself with Caroline alongside a simple Rita wrote that Caroline is an angel among us alongside a beautiful image of them but Laura Jackson shared a couple of pictures of them both having fun at gigs. She accompanied the snacks with a poignant image writing, thinking of you today, you were amazingly infectious. You had this unbelievable powerful pull, the kind of pull that's so hard to explain. You commanded every room you walked in, even though you had the smallest feet known to me. You were the most fun, wild, ridiculous, brilliant, unbelievable fun. Whenever anything ridiculous happened, good or bad, it was always content for the book. You loved holidays, kids, dogs, singing, red wine, lipstick and drive throughs especially a McDonald's. I can never say the word Wally without thinking of you. You loved love. You really did love love. So many memories I know we will all treasure forever. Thank you for the good times. There were so and all the amazing people I have in my life because of you. You are and always will be a very special. I loved you dearly. Love to all the flags today. Heart, actress Georgia Mayfoot, 30, also paid tribute as she penned. I genuinely think about you every day. I miss you flag. I still feel so lucky I had him as a friend. I am not sure I will ever meet a person like you again x sleep well says 20. And Amanda Holden, 50, wrote, I think about this little one a lot, what she would be up to now and how she would be coping in this weird new world that she doubt she's missed out Lewis Burton, 27, who was in a relationship with a Love Island presenter at the time of her death also shared a snap and wrote, he'll never forget while her ex Andrew Brady, who she dated in 2018, also wrote that he would never forget other celebs who paid tribute throughout the day included Louise Redknapp. 46, who shared a selfie with Caroline to her instant alongside the image, the singer wrote, I hate that I have to post a picture of you rather than being able to give you a call. But you still carry on bringing everybody that knew and loved you light through the memories they shared. I'll forever miss our Friday night club and the laughs and good times we had. At a time I really needed a lift for that I'll forever. I really hope everybody remembers that kindness is so important. In a world where you can be anything be kind. Joe Swash, 39 also posted a picture with Caroline and emotionally penned, I can't believe it's been a whole year, it's so messed up just writing this. I really hope you know how much I love you. Fern Cotton, 39, also took to Instagram to pen a lengthy caption and admitted that she sadly doesn't think the world shown more kindness and she wrote, it's a year since Caroline passed away. In the last 12 months I have thought about her and talked to her. I wish we could say that in the past year there has been more kindness. That we've looked at each other with less judgment and but sadly I don't think it's true. Let's keep kindness as our hearts and arms. Sending so much love and strength to Caroline's family and close friends today. Caroline's fellow TV hosts Keith Lemon and Dermot O'Leary also posted tributes, with the X Factor presenter sharing a fun photo of a late star along with the emotional words, missing this lovable, silly, fun, messy, smart, bright, tiny dancer today. X Caroline was found dead on February 15th aged 40, the day after hearing the Crown Prosecution Service would go ahead with a trial for allegedly attacking her model and former tennis player boyfriend Lewis in December 2019. Back in August, coroner Mary Hassel gave a verdict of suicide, saying, I am entirely satisfied she intended to co- She hanged herself. I find the reason for her taking her life was she now knew she was being prosecuted for certainty, and she knew she would face the media, press, publicity, it would all come down upon her. To me, that's it in essence. It came after her mother, Christine, blasted a senior Met police officer for appealing against the CPS's decision to give her daughter a caution after her arrest despite officers finding her at the crime scene with an injury caused by self accusing Detective Inspector Lauren Bateman of treating her more harshly due to her celebrity status. Mrs. Flack told the inquest, she, Caroline, cut her arm to cause serious injury and you were putting an appeal in to get her prosecuted. You never bothered to see her. If it had been, an ordinary person, you wouldn't have prosecuted. I see domestic abuse and I just think you should be disgusted with yourself so there is nothing we can do to bring Caroline back. I hope in hindsight you do regret this. This girl killed herself because you put an appeal through. The appeal referenced an initial decision by prosecutors to issue flack with a caution, before D.I. Bateman, the senior Met officer in charge when the celebrity was taken into custody, applied for a formal charge instead. The final decision would have been made by a senior lawyer. Prior to Mrs. Flack's intervention D.I. Bateman had denied treating the presenter more harshly because she was famous and insisted she wouldn't do anything differently if confronted with the case again today. She said the caution
motion was not appropriate because Flack did not admit her guilt and that Flack strongly denied assaulting Mr. Burton and had pleaded not guilty to assault by beating at Highbury Corner Magistrates Court on December 23rd. Her sister, Jody, said she tried to take her own life before the first court appearance and then a further two times before she hanged herself at her London. Flack's family have repeatedly accused the authorities of pursuing a show trial despite being aware of her worsening mental health. The court also heard new details of a note that was found near her body which read, Please let this court case be dropped and myself and Lewis find harmony. The TV star's twin, Jody, who is watching the inquest on a video link with her mother, Christine, confirmed the note was written in her sister's handwriting.